What's up, guys? It's Cameron Charles from DeFranco's Gym here with another episode of Ask DeFranco's Gym. We got a question regarding how we stagger our speed and strength work here. To put it simply, we tend to do our speed or our power work before we do our strength work. Uh, we find that if you take the high CNS intensive elements and then slowly work towards the lower CNS intensive elements regarding your, your speed down to your strength work, that's how we kind of stagger our, our, our progression throughout the session. So what we tend to do is we'll do our sprints, our throws, our jumps, we'll do all that before we hit the weights. Um, an important point when programming speed or power work is always keep the environment elactic. The reason for this is that it ensures quality of work. Every sprint can therefore be of high quality, and by definition, an athlete can only get faster in an elactic environment. If you're, the rest intervals are too short, it, it can soon become lactic. If you do too many exercises, it can become lactic. But when you're in a, a lactic environment where you have a lot of lactic acid buildup, it can actually reduce the contractile velocity and force of the muscles, which can actually increase your risk of injury. So what we do here is we keep everything alactic when we're working on speed, and then after we do all of our speed and power work, we'll hit the weights at the end. So that's it for today. If you guys have any questions, be sure to email Joe at ask-joe at defrancostraining.com, or you can hit him up on Twitter at, at defrancosgym and send his question there. Thanks, guys.